through. So as I say, tomorrow, the 21st of December is the great conjunction where Jupiter aligns with Saturn in Aquarius and we are in a massive energetic influence and we are in a huge awakening. Really and truthfully, tonight is New Year's Eve because tomorrow is the, st the real start of the age of Aquarius and you need to keep that in mind with things, all right? Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe and drop me a comment. Now, this happens every 20 years. As I say, the last time was 1405, I think as well, I read somewhere, um, and it was the start of the Renaissance. So we know how powerful these energies can in fact be. But what we also need to understand that this is Yes, it is a party time, Ronica, but it, we're also going into massive shift and change. And for those that are resisting this change, those that are resisting this shift, you may struggle for the next seven months. And yes, I did say that seven months. Hi, Melanie. Now, this is about achieving things, and it is about achieving things at a human and humanitarian level. All right, so this is a fantastic time for your hopes, your dreams, and your visions. But what we are really, really supposed to be connecting with is recognizing who we are in the world and how we make a difference in this world. We are now all being called to contribute to the whole. And this is where I'm going to piss a lot of you off. So everybody who was moaning last night because they don't get to spend time with the relative, they're not interested in seeing the other 364 days of the year, but have this big thing about seeing them at Christmas, all right, you're the problem. And this is why I'm going to say it, because you're not thinking of the whole. We are in the battle between the ego, and which sits in fear, and the um, love vibration. Are you going to choose to ascend, if you like, to awaken and step into love vibration. If you are banging on and banging on, and I get you're upset, but stop and step back. Because if you were banging on last night about not being able to see your relationships, that was your, your relationships, your relatives, that was coming from a place of fear of missing out. FOMO, otherwise translated as ego. All right, so pay attention, thank you, John. Pay attention to where your thoughts, your words are coming from because you are lining yourself with which way you are going to go. This is about the whole. This is about humanitarian issues. And health is challenged, yes, but what you have to think, someone just said I look like Toya, Going to have to Google her in a minute. I've forgotten what she looked like. But what you have to think is that this is also about environmental because that's what these planets are all about, is planetarian stuff. We're in a planetarian time. We're in a humanitarian time. These are big words for me tonight. So, as I said, and I'll stand it and I will say it to your face if you come and see me. If you are banging on about not getting to see somebody, that is coming from your ego. You should be thinking about the health and the wellness of humankind, of the planet, all right? And all of these things are coming up, not just now, but across the next seven months in particularly, we are going to see a lot of power struggles. We are going to see protests. It's the battle of the ego. It's about struggles with corporations. It's about struggles with governments. But you need to start with you. It's no good banging on and putting all these things and all this hate on Boris. When you get your fat asses off your desk and go and work in politics and go through the hell that he is going through, then you can bang on about Boris. Because I don't see any of you running up for that job. And his, his, I think his political career crashed last night, let's be honest. All right? I'm not signing up for that, that role. Until you have signed up for that role, please watch what you are projecting with your words out into this world. 
am I making sense? Drop me a comment. If you don't like it, the door is that way. But I'm going to say it as it is because I feel as if I've got to jolt you. And myself, we've got to jolt into the new season that begins tomorrow of looking at the whole picture, not just at ourselves, and taking care of the whole. So anyone who's pissed off because they're not traveling, do you know why you're not traveling? Because you've not been paying attention. You've been getting on your EasyJet 35 pound flight and you've not been paying attention to the environment. You've not been paying attention to what you are doing to this world. And Mother Earth is fighting, all right? We have got to get out of this materialistic, I'm not saying don't have stuff, but I'm saying create through love and create responsibly with conscious choices and think about your resources. This is why so many of you will be drawn to going off grid, going off and living in a van, blah, 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 going off and traveling, all of these things, all right? This is your choice right now, how you as an individual, I know it's really, really hard, and especially if you are sat in a tier four, all right? If you are sat in a tier four, then the people that surround you, I mean, look at how they left London last night, like a flicking alien event, a invasion had been announced, all right? It's like something off a movie, all right? Sit, be still, and project love into the universe, all right? Not fear, because fear is going to feed it. Am I making sense or am I just losing followers? I don't even care right now. My role is not to be liked. My role is to try to help you to understand and see the bigger picture to the moment that you are in, because then it gets easier. It honestly, honestly does, all right? Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not into politics, I've got to be honest, but my God, I would not want Boris's job if you paid me, all right? So remember that we are now entering a time which is about self-sacrifice for the whole. If you are fighting it like crazy, you're going to suffer for the next seven months, all right, you're going to have your life stripped away because you're invested externally instead of internally. Trust me, single parent, self-employed, blah, blah, blah. Honest to God, I feel your pain, I feel your fear. But you have got to step into the hole if you want to get the best out of this now. All right, I don't want you to spend the next 40 years struggling. I want you to love your lives, all right? What we do have to watch, though, in all of this is that for becoming detached. Because what is happening is we are stepping out of the old 3D world, all right? And we are stepping into the new sort of 5D world. So a lot of us are like snakes, if you like. We're shedding our skin. We... <laughs> I wish, um, but, and we, I shouldn't say that out loud, should I? Um, but, and we actually don't know who we are. We, we've we lost touch with the world that we had and we're feeling incredibly disheartened. And that is, that was me yesterday. It's a general feeling and a passage that we all will go through as we leave the old and step into the new. Am I rambling or do, am I making sense? Drop me a comment and let me know if this is resonating. So what happens in that transition place? So we don't know who we are. We become detached. Of course, now we're in lockdown here. A lot of people are sat alone, especially for Christmas. And we feel incredibly vulnerable, incredibly lost and incredibly detached. So the risk here is that suicide is going to escalate. But you do not need to lose your physical body to go through this awakening, to go through this part of the ascension process. You came here to do this, all right? But you just need to relax. I know it sounds crazy, but you need to relax. Live moment to moment and be present in the moment that you are in, all right? You are going to be letting go of your limiting beliefs. 
This is about morals. This is about what is morally right. You're going to be letting go of material things that don't serve you because what is going to, or should become important to us out of this is community. Now, when I say community, I don't necessarily mean you know, the town you live in or your family because it's about soul community, all right? So there is this need to be reaching out to people and building community with the people that are on the same vibration as you or that you recognize need help. Does that make sense to you, all right? What is morally right? Keep that in your mind. Think about your impact on the universe, on Mother Earth, as you step forwards. The world is changing from tomorrow. If you cannot feel that already, I'm very, very surprised that you are even watching me. I have to be honest. All right? So as I say, this is about achieving things at a human level. It's also massive about technology as well. We've swapped, haven't we, over to the technology world? All right. And we it's about our hopes and our dreams our, and our visions. Now, I'm not saying you can't aspire to achieve. Of course you can. We want you to. But we want you to do it from a... We, Royal We, sell on channeling. Want you to do it from a place of love and not from a place of fear and must have and FOMO and all of that. That is the ego. All right. Do what is morally right. Look at the whole picture and not... Not just you and you in this moment okay and you know and as I say watch out for people around us who are be or even yourself who are feeling like they are becoming detached we're coming out of the dark ages we're stepping into light and love but sometimes what happens is people are so engrossed and programmed and lost in all of that that they have to go through a struggle to wake up. God knows I've been there 20 years ago. We have to go through struggle sometimes to shake people awake into this world, all right? So I'm so glad I have my tribe here if you're in my Facebook group. And um, if you're not in it and you're watching it on YouTube, pop on the link and join us. But it's about looking at who you are in the world, what you represent, what are you going to do next? Because as I said, this is about endings but it is also about beginnings and the beginnings that you start now are not just for this year or 2021, it's for years. So give proper, proper thought and do it in a way where you are thinking about your impact on the whole of the world and not just on whether you're gonna look good, feel good, smell good, blah, 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 all right? This is about your impact and your responsibility. So there you go. That is my information on December the 21st, which is starting tomorrow, but we can already feel it building up. I'm sure that you can already feel that.